Hey guys, Nigerian governors visit Tinubu in Lagos, declare support for President's harsh policies, and these have got Nigerians talking. As we progress, we get to understand what Nigerians have said on this very particular news. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. President Bola Tinubu says the federal and sub-national government of Nigeria have the mutual responsibility of ensuring the country's peace and stability. Speaking during a meeting with the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, at his residence in Lagos on Tuesday, the president reiterated his condemnation of the latest killings in Plateau State, a statement signed by Chief Ajiri Ngalali, the special advisor to the president on media and publicity on Tuesday, said. Addressing the governors, the president issued a STEM directive to security agencies to stop the carnage in Plateau State and intensify the pursuit of those responsible for the recent tragic event in Bokokos and Barikin Ladi local government areas. Condoling with the victims, President Tinubu emphasized the, san the sanity of the human life and called for a paradigm shift among those with contrary beliefs, cautioning them about the inevitable consequences of their actions. Nigeria needs peace and stability to move forward. Nigeria belongs to all of us, and we have to take care of it, he said. President Tinubu acknowledged the presence of Governor Fubora of the River State at the meeting, commending him for his efforts to peaceful, peacefully resolve the political challenges in the state. I thank you for your statementship. I listened to your broadcasts and your emphasis on peace. It is only with peace that effective governance can strive, and governance has commenced in earnest under my watch, he said. On the 2024 budget proposals before the National Assembly, the president informed the governors that he had a review meeting earlier in the day on certain elements in the appropriation bill with the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wally, and the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, San Atiku, Senator Atiku Bagudu. He emphasized that the need for joint responsibility and closer collaboration between the federal and the sub-national government to foster rapid infrastructural development in every part of the nation. I want us to discard federal, state, or rural road classification. We must regard the development as a joint responsibility. Let us prioritize our children. The school feeding program must return quickly, <laughs> beginning from the local government to the state and the federal government. We must be ready to protect our children and prepare them for the future, the president stated. The chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, and the Kwara State Governor, Adu Sarama, expressed solidarity with the government and the people of Plateau State. May God be with the source of the departed and bring peace to Plateau State. The governor of Plateau State, we are with you. Stay strong, the NGF chairman said. The NGF uh, chairman said. Governor Adurahman reaffirmed state government support to both decisions and reforms initiated by President Tinubu's administration. These are challenging, challenging times. It is not a walk in the park. Removing a fuel subsidy had a great structural effect and the economy of the state, but we are confident that we will overcome these challenges and bounce back better, he said. Reactions? Reactions by Nigerians. 
we shock you, you know, on this. With this, we understand that Nigerians are not happy with this government. I service leaders who are leading the people to nowhere. Killings in Plateau, bandits holding sway, delayed salaries, high cost of living, jackpot on the rise. I wonder what they are happy about. Why won't they be in support of these harsh policies when they are all in swimming in influence? Why majority of Nigerians are languishing in abject poverty? The day of reckoning and accountability is coming when everybody will give account of his or her stewardship. Exactly. People are being killed in Sokoto, in Taraba, in Benue, in Boronu, in Plateau, in Kastina, and even in the southeastern part of the country. Yet, governors are busy gallivanting and making merry. People without conscience. Anyway, the people... The people get the kind of leaders they deserve. Let's continue with tribal bigotry. Last, last, everybody go get sense. Such usual excuse as this could be skipped in these times. I could conserve some funds. It's only in Nigeria politics that governors become president pets. More reason. He rigged himself into power with the help of INEC and judiciary. So sad. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. So, Abeg, what's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.